From the Persian legends of the Shinami is the tale called The Tragedy of Sarab. Here is a synopsis of the story. A long time ago in Persia, there was a beautiful princess named Tamna. She dreamed of the day that Rustam the Mighty, also called Tahatman, would sweep her off her feet. Soon enough, those dreams would come true. Later on, they had married, but Rustam left to go to war. Little did he know, she conceived a son. The dreaded Turanian king, Afrasayab, waged war against Kate Caps in the White Fortress. Once he discovered Sarab, he used him in his army, so he devised a plan. The boy named Sarab grew up to be an incredible man. He was intelligent like his mother and powerful, just like his father. He led King Afrasayab's Turanian army. Later on, Sarab led his army to the White Fortress where he fought Gordafarid. Gorda woman? Sarab thought he was in love. But Gordafarid thought otherwise. Sound the alarm! The White Fortress is under attack! King Cavus then hired Rastal and his army. That brings us to our first moral, don't let your heart deceive you. With that in mind, the Persian king hired Rustam the Mighty, and he came to Persia with great haste. After multiple times of trying to identify each other, Rustam the father, and Sarab the son, fought and fought. Day after day, night after night. Until... Rustam saw a strange marking on Sarab's arm. He then realized that he had just killed his own son. The final lines of the story say, Who among mortals can escape fate? Who among us can use our wisdom or our courage or our strength or our skill to this end? No one. What is written in the stars and the heavens is sure to come. So it was with Sarab, so it is with all who walk the earth. This legend shows interference between destiny and humans. This also is a widespread belief in the Persian slash Middle Eastern countries. The child he never held now drinks in his tears. One fact I found was pretty interesting was Rassam's horse is named Ross, which means lightning, and I believe that this he was named this because it sounds like the noise that uh, lightning makes when it strikes. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. So that's one thing I learned from this. So a few other things. Uh, the title is The Tragedy of Sarab. You could say Sarab, whatever. The genre is legend and it's because it talks about uh, the interaction between fate and humanity. Some other things, uh, the characters were announced in the synopsis, the culture is Persian slash Middle Eastern parallel stories, uh, some things in Samson and Delilah, cultural significance, fate always wins. I learned that Rashkshish, however you say that, uh, means lightning and Sarab means sunshine. And one question I did have was, even though it talked about the greatness of Sarab and like the greatness of Rustam slash Dehotman, how could he not tell it was his own son? Uh, I was kind of wondering about that.